Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, if you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. I talk about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. This is a Poshmark video. These are items that I sold on Poshmark. I have these items cross-posted on Mercari and eBay, and these items sold faster on Poshmark. So thanks for being here again. I think I said that. And we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm going to show you guys in a little bit different format than I normally do. So I want your feedback on which way you prefer. So um, let's get started. Okay. Let's screen share. And the first item I sold is this Cacique Brawl. I picked this up at a discount store for $6 plus tax, and I sold it for $25 um, and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I did not send out an offer on this one. It was a flat buy, so Poshmark took $5. So those of you that are not selling on Poshmark, this kind of gives you an idea of the breakdown. Um, so I earned $20, and then you take that $20 and you subtract what I paid for the item, and then you have my profits. And then the sales tax is collected by Poshmark and given to the state um, for you, which is fantastic. All right, the next item I sold is another brawl. This is a Catherine's brawl. Now this one, I sent an offer to the buyer. And when you send an offer, you have to offer discounted shipping, which it takes out $2.12. So I can just wait for the item to sell or I can send them an offer with discounted shipping. So I sent them an offer of 25 and I paid $2.12 of the shipping. So I think that leaves them with $4.99 that they have to still pay towards the shipping cost. So $25 minus the fees, my earnings were $17.88 and I had $5 plus tax in this item. So a profit of about 10 bucks, 11 bucks. The next item is these Tact Gear Navy Uniform Pants, and I sold these for $19. The buyer paid the shipping. I picked these up at a discount store for $3. The next item is this necklace. It's got like a little basket pendant. Very, very um, bread and butter. It's a major bread and butter item, and I knew that. And I'm actually surprised it sold because I didn't Think it would be a hot seller by any means. I was more just wanted some lower priced items to kind of generate people's curiosity to have them come into my store. But it sold. I sent out an offer. So my earnings were $3.93, but I probably had pennies in this. It was a, from a bulk buy at a garage sale. So not huge profits, but hey, it all adds up. The next item is this Victoria's Secret Brawl. This came from a discount store. I sent them an offer. So my earnings on this was $13.88 after um, I sold it for 20. So after the fees were taken out. So I got about $3 in this from a discount store. Uh, Cat and Jack lot of shirts. These are 18 months. And again, I tell you guys all the time, go to garage sales, ask the people if you can buy all of the kids clothes, offer them one price. And I do it I've done it, I shouldn't say I do it all the time, but I've done it two or three times and it, it's paid off. It definitely adds up. It is a lot of work, but I make small lots just like this. Um, this one's been sitting a little longer, so I did lower the price and I offered um, $13. So my earnings on this was only $7.93, but I probably have less than a dollar in all of it. The next item is this Cacique Brawl. Again, this came from, actually, I think this was a wholesale lot that I bought on eBay a while back. So I've got about $5 in this item and it sold for 28. Posh took their fee. So uh, my earnings was $22.40. The next item are these Nike shoes. I got these at a garage sale for like a buck. I sold them for 18 after Posh took their $3.60. I My earnings were $14.40. And I'm a little bit concerned because this is the tracking for these shoes. So it says notice left to reschedule delivery. So I just noticed this today when I was making the tabs for this video. And the last May 23rd was the last 
um, scan. So I have no clue what's going to happen with this. So um, stay tuned. The next item are these Spanx panties. I picked these up at a discount store. I think they were $1.99 plus tax. And I sold these for $12. Posh took $2.95. So I, my earnings were $9.05. With these Spanx, I picked up a bunch. So it's not like a huge sale. But if I sell 10 of them, it all adds up. So $9.05 minus a couple bucks that I paid for it. So I made about seven bucks on this pair of panties, which is still good. They're super easy to list. It was a multi-quantity listing. So easy peasy. Here's another set I sold. Um, so I sold uh, the, the cream color and then this taupey color. And I sold the set for $19. And the buyer pays shipping. So my earnings were $15.20. Another brawl. Sold it for $20. And two more Victoria's Secret bras. This was a bundle deal. So they bundled and bought both bras for $33. And I got those for $3 each at a discount store. All right, these cute little black and white dangle cowbells. Super cute. Came from a garage sale, a bulk buy. Probably have pennies in them. Sold it for $13. Posh took $2.95. And my earnings were $10.05. So... Posh takes 20% unless it is $15 or less Then they take a flat fee of $2.95. So if you sell something for $10, they take $2.95. If you sell something for $5, they take $2.95. And anything above the, I believe it's $15, it's uh, 20%. So fees are a little higher, but you don't have... Um, any uh, listing fees or monthly like fees that you have to pay to sell on Posh. So it, it all evens out, I think. The next item is this Victoria's Secret bra. Paid $3 for it, sold it for $23. And you guys can look at the fees. I'm not going to read all of that to you on every tab. This Cacique garter belt, I got this for about a buck and I bought a whole bunch of them. Um, sold it for $10. And I sent out an offer, so I did eat the additional two twelve. So four ninety three minus the buck I paid for it, I made about three ninety, three eighty with tax. You know, so not great, but it adds up. I bought probably fifty of these. The next item was a very cool bundle. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I got these Skechers at a thrift store. I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for these, and I, um. The Marilyn Monroe, I got those at a discount store. I did pay up for those a little bit. I think those were like $6.99 or something. And then the Livy Active Crossback Tee uh, was a retail arbitrage online purchase. And I probably paid about 5 bucks for that. So I did have a little bit more in these items. But somebody offered me 80 for all three. So Poshmark took 16 My earnings were 64 So not bad. Um, Again, two of the items were retail arbitrage, so I expect the margins to not be as high. The next item is this Oak Hall graduation gown, and the lady purchased it, and she messaged me later, like a day or two later, asking me not to ship it because she didn't need it anymore. Um, the school was providing them, and I felt bad, but I had already shipped it. So she's like, I'll buy something else from your store, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, it's already shipped. So I sold this for $10. Um, Posh took $2.95, so I got $7.05. Now, I got this at that free garage sale where everything at the garage sale was free. This was one of the items. So my earnings was $7.05. The next item is this Spanx dress, dress kini top. And it's basically a tankini top, but it's longer. And I bought this at a discount store. I kind of got some at different prices. Like I think I got some for like five and I think I paid nine for some. Don't remember exactly what this one was, but um, sold it for $25. Posh took five, so my earnings were 20. So let's say I paid 10 just to be on the high end. I made 10 bucks profit, which is still fine. You know, the next item is a really, really old listing. I think I got this at 
TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. And I want to say it was probably $10 or less. And I sold it for 20. Posh took four. So my earnings were 16 minus what I paid for it. These Crocs. Okay. So I love this. These Crocs, I got at a garage sale. I want to say I paid five bucks for them. I did pay up a little for me. That's paying up. But um, they sold for 18. Poshmark took $3.60 and my earnings were $14.40. So her comment says, which I never read my um, feedback or love notes, they call them on Poshmark. And when I was pulling up this video, I noticed the comments and I'm like, huh. So it says, hi, wow, these are fantastic. Thanks for everything. I'm going to post on my Instagram account, post modern poppy with a link to your closet. Cheers, poppy. I'm like, that is so cool. She like advertised my posh closet. I'm like, I'm going to go check it out. So I went and I um, followed her on Poshmark and I left her a little message that said, I'm going to feature your closet in my Poshmark video. Super cool. So here is her posh closet. So um, post modern poppy, but look at this. 550,000 shares. And you know, she's got quite a bit of followers. So she is really, really working hard. So if you guys are on Poshmark, please go follow her, share some of her items. She's got a great store, some really nice looking stuff. So definitely go and check her out. You guys know me. I'm always about helping others grow their channels, grow their stores. I just like it. I like helping people. So definitely go check out her closet and follow and share. That'd be great. All right, let's go on to the next item I sold. And what's crazy is she lives in Ohio. She lives about 45 minutes from me. How cool is that? All right, the next item. Um, this Kasik bra came from a discount store. Uh, I paid about $6 plus shipping, not shipping, plus tax for it. And I did send out an offer on this one. So. Um, the Poshmark fee was five and then the discounted shipping was 212. The next item I sold were these express jeans shorts and I sold these for $18. And I picked those up for about $3 at a discount store. This I picked up at a discount store for $3. It did not have any straps and I sold it for $17 and I sent discounted shipping on that one. So I know some of you guys that watch me, I'm really not doing a whole lot of clothes anymore. So Poshmark is great to help me get rid of clothes because I'm trying to get out of clothes. If you guys saw all the clothes I need to list. <gasps> oh my goodness, so much clothes. I need to find somebody local that wants to do like consignment for me um, for my clothing items. The next item I sold is this Victoria's Secret two-piece baby doll. Um, I sold this for $23. I did offer a shipping discount. I sent an offer and they accepted. And I bought this for $3 at a discount store. Here's another one, $3 discount store. I sent them an offer. You guys, if you're not sending offers on Poshmark, please inflate the price of your item a little bit so that you can send offers. Because Poshmark, I feel like people like your item and they wait for an offer. So definitely keep that in mind. The next item is this LC Sports Athletic Pants. I can't even tell you how long I've had these. Years I've had these. So I am so happy to see them go. I probably paid a buck or two um, at a discount store. It's an off brand, so I won't pay. I probably paid a dollar. Because for off brands like this, I usually don't pay much more than that. I sold these for $13. And this person actually just sent me an offer of $13. And I took it. So $10.05 is my earnings minus what I paid for it. So I made about nine bucks on it. The next item is another older listing came from the same discount store. I um, I wanna say I paid up a little bit for this. I think it was between seven and 10. So I didn't make a whole lot of money on it, but it's one of those things where I probably overpaid and it took a while to sell and I was just happy to see it go and I made a profit. So. Sold it for 20, Posh took four, so my earnings were 16. Let's just say I paid 10, I made six bucks, so not great. 
The next item are these silver dagger jeans. I picked these up at a discount store for $3. I sold them for, I sent an offer for $25. They accepted. So my earnings were $17.88. And the buyer always pays shipping on Posh. Unless you offer them free shipping, of course. Uh, Victoria's Secret. Um, I shouldn't say, of course, if you're new to Posh, that doesn't probably make any sense. Paid $3, sold it for $20, and this was an offer that I sent out to them, and they accepted. So I made about $10 on that brawl by the time you deduct what I paid for it. This Cacique brawl, same thing. I'm selling a lot of brawls. Kind of boring. Um, but uh, this one, discount store, I think it was $5 plus tax. So I made about $11 on it. The next item, these Lane Bryant cropped jeans. These were a retail arbitrage. I bought them online. So I think I've got seven or eight dollars in these. I sold them for thirty dollars. Uh, buyer pays the shipping, of course. Posh took their six bucks. So 24 bucks is my earnings minus what I paid for it. And the next item is my big, big, huge bolo. Super excited about this one. I thought it was going to be a better one. I thought I was going to make much, much more than I made. Um, but I still did fantastic, but I did pay up for these. I paid $130 for these at an estate sale. They sold for an offer. They sent me an offer of $400. Poshmark took 80. It weighed 10 pounds. So I had to pay an extra 20, I think it was to ship it. So my earnings were 300. I paid 130. So, oh gosh, my math. Uh, is that 170? 170 plus 130 is 300. Yeah. So my profit was $170 and I made my money back. But again, I had these priced much higher. Um, I thought they were going to go for more. They're really, really interesting. I, I just had a gut feeling about it. Um, I'm going to show you guys they're taxidermy fur like zoo animals. And I'm going to show you guys this picture because it's got, um, you can see that one's almost 15 inches tall, the giraffe. But they are really, I've never seen anything like it. So I did pay up $130 at the estate sale for them. But I, I'm, they look handmade. They're like um, stitched. You could see the stitching. So a really, really different item. So I guess don't be afraid to take a chance. I was surprised that this sold on Poshmark first. But hey, so yeah, there you go. That is my big money, huge bolo um, right there. These guys. So you got a kangaroo, a giraffe, a baby giraffe. I don't know if this is like a cougar. A lion. I don't know what this is. Like a little, what is that? What is that guy? That's like a, I don't know what that thing is. And a camel. What's this called, guys? You Somebody knows. Somebody watching knows. And I can't remember what this is called either. Um, I sold this Care Bears ornament. And I don't know if this gal is subscribed to me. But she lives in my town. And I know she's one of my Facebook friends. So thank you if you're watching. I appreciate that very much. And she's bought from me before. So that's super, super nice. I did notice. And I sent out um, an offer of $17. I picked this up at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was kind of one of those bulk buy things. But I love little vintage items. Super fun. The next item is this express skirt. This came from a discount store. $3. I sent an offer of $20. So I did pay the discounted shipping. And happy to see it go. Happy to see the clothes go. The next item are these Volcom board shorts. These are back from when PacSun went out of business. I bought out, I think, gosh, I, I, I bought so many board shorts. It was crazy. I think I went to, yeah, I went to two separate stores. I spent so much money, but my sales the month after that, were the best. I think I sold $19,000 in one month, which to now, now seems like absolutely crazy to me because I'm not hitting those numbers. 
but it was after this store went out of business and I was listing like a machine. Um, but yeah, now I have no interest in clothes. I just want to get as far away from clothing as I can. So, um, yeah, I had probably a couple bucks in these by the time I divided it all out and somebody offered me, um, uh, actually maybe they just did buy it now. I think they just did buy it now of $22. So 1760. So I've had them a long time, but I had multiples and that's why. And I have like Billabong, um, Hurley. I still have a bunch left, not a bunch compared to what I had, but I do still have some board shorts left if you guys want to go check it out. The next item are these Lane Bryant tights, bottom on line retail arbitrage from a website and didn't make much on these. I probably had four or five bucks in them. It was probably not the best buy. So don't do that. All right, you guys, what do you think? What do you think? That one was a huge bolo. And again, I paid up. I was hoping to get at least 500 out of them, but um, 400 works. I'm hoping that they're going to somebody who's going to appreciate them. And they're, they're really unique, different items for sure. All right, you guys hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, if you haven't hit that little bell, if you guys hit that, that will alert you when I post new videos, which is awesome. And I appreciate you all. Thanks for being here. And I have uh, Mercari Bolo videos, eBay Bolo videos, lots and lots of Bolo videos. That is what I do. So go check it out. And thanks for watching.